Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to take a look at iOS 16 on the iPhone SC 2020 edition or the second edition. Now, the iPhone SC along with the iPhone 8 are the only two type of models right now along with the iPhone SC third generation that has the home button getting the iOS 16 update because iPhone 7 no longer gets this update. This is why it's really important for us to take a look at it. So in this video, we're going to talk about downloading iOS 16, some of the top features of iOS 16 that might be worthwhile if you're going to be looking to upgrade to it. And then lastly, uh, talk about the performance, the battery, and whether you should or shouldn't upgrade to iOS 16. So iOS 16, if you're going to be going to download it's pretty straightforward to download if you haven't done it you can go into settings and then go to general software update and you'll see ios 16.0 out there you can also choose to stay on ios 15.7 which again was released at the same time for people who aren't comfortable going to ios 16 but if you do end up going out of 16 you'll need about four to five gigs to be able to download successfully and install it give or take it's probably going to take half an hour to 45 minutes for you to be able to successfully update your phone so once you update it there's features that you'll start to see that are available so what are some of the top features well the first one is going to be around your customization of the lock screen itself now as you can see here we can customize lock screen like we haven't been able to do this in the past with the device so as you can see here we can add things like the widgets here and then we can add the, like the actual font you can actually change up the font here you can change up the color and much more to it gives it a more realistic and again a neat feature to it so if you want to check that out go ahead and check that out the next thing we want to talk about is this ability to do send text and undo sending text so let's go ahead and send a text and we'll show you what i mean by that with this let's say you send a text right awesome blue text and it should deliver hopefully when it does that let's go ahead and edit that so if we want to edit that simply go ahead and edit and then once you have edited that and then hit that most like as you can see we are able to edit a text we can also go ahead and undo send as you can see here plot and that message is gone along with that you also have the ability to go ahead swipe right and click on that unread messages or reply back later and this kind of extends towards the email as well you can unsend email as well Moving on to the next top feature that you might be interested in is around being able to now do photo edits like remove a background. So you can see here, remove a background as simple as just simply holding and pressing down and then going ahead and opening this up. And as you can see now, we just sent someone a picture without the background. Again, this one seems to be somewhat depending on the object you select, it might work or might not. Again, a new feature, there's definitely improvements to be made. Other updates that you'll probably see with the new update in iOS 16 on the iPhone SC here, it's going to be around focus mode. So focus mode, if you go take a look at it, go ahead and check it out. You'll see there's some updates to it. Again, we're not going to go into details because there are very minor details. But if you go ahead and take a look at the different options, you'll see that as well. You'll see also things like the ability to control your privacy and security segment. Again, Apple is known for their privacy and security settings you can go ahead and check that out you have things like safety check and then this other feature where now you can actually use passwordless authentication using pass keys to log in to apps and website again this really changes the game when it comes to being able to log into services that you don't remember or need to keep track of password lastly other things you'll probably notice is around subtle changes things that allow you to interact with the phone. But overall, performance-wise, how has the performance been? As you can see here, all of the major apps have been working as it should. We started to test all of the applications, like the ones that you see here, the shopping apps, your social media apps, all of those apps have been working. We haven't seen anything crash or have any serious issue. Even when we do some tests here, we haven't seen any lag or anything either on the iPhone SE, which is great because this device Again, a lot of you guys really like this device considering that it has that, again, whole iconic home button. It's a small phone, but it definitely packs a punch when it comes to delivering power. And if you're not used to or don't want to switch over to Face ID, this is where Touch ID comes in play with the device still supporting Touch ID here for us. And lastly, let's talk about the battery life of this device. As I said, the iPhone SE 
not the greatest battery here again smaller size battery but what you'll notice here that once you go ahead update it here battery might for some user would did mention they had some dip in battery health but overall i don't think the battery health is going to be effective here as you can see we used this phone for almost two years at 94 which again is normal over time the battery is going to deteriorate but doesn't mean we notice much of a difference in terms of battery so battery has been you know decent for this phone again just a smaller battery definitely apple could have put a bigger battery but that's how it comes out to so overall is it worth upgrading to ios 16 on the iphone sc for us again it didn't seem like it made too much of a difference we were able to take advantage of the new features but again there's been a mix a review from different users so so far it's been stable is what we can say but again it's up to you you can update it to ios 16 but if you want to stay safe you probably stay on ios 15.7 but eventually as you know you'll have to upgrade to ios 16 it depends on when you do it it's about more of timing because because it's the initial release there's going to be dot one dot two which probably will fix any major or issues that users are experiencing which will keep you guys up to date so that's why i want to hear from you guys if you guys are having issues make sure you guys leave it in the comment section also along with that is that if you guys want to check out discounted iphones make sure you guys check out the links in the description as well and while you're at it make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time